Okay, so what we have here is a we're along the way on our synthesis uh, patch, uh, demonstrating the synthesis uh, capabilities in Audio Mulch. And uh, what we are going to be doing here is we have a test. Uh, back in uh, part one, we actually opened up uh, the document and put in a test uh, contraption that uh, is currently sending out a 440 volt, uh, f not volt, 440 hertz um, pure tone to uh, mixer channel one. Let's listen to that tone. There it is. Now there are some things that we can do to this, obviously, because this is audio mulch and we can take audio and mulch it. We can do an insert after and we can put in a filter. Let's say for example we'll put in the uh, let's start comb filtering this and see what we get out of it. Okay, the five combs filter What a comb filter actually is, is it is a series, uh, the, the, well, uh, uh, this is this contraption contains five comb filters, and what these uh, comb filters are, are uh, five instances of individual um, filter uh, stages that have different values attached to them. Right now, the, um, the uh, right now what we're looking at is, here, hold on a second here, let's cancel that out. And we'll change that back to A. There we go. Um, the here we're going to turn this down right now. The uh, master gain control for the uh, comb filter is uh, it controls how much signal is actually passed into the contraption from the top end here, uh, from the input, and then that uh, internally to the uh, five combs uh, device that uh, signal is passed to each of the filtering points and each of these filter points have been uh, select have been pre-selected at the various octaves for the pitch of a so uh, a3 is a pitch of 110 a4 is a pitch of 220 a5 is a pitch of 440 etc cetera, etc cetera. so what a comb filter actually does is, is it picks a certain spot on the um, it, you set it to a certain spot on the frequency uh, uh, in uh, in the in the frequency range, and you can tell five combs to accentuate by using the gain, or to uh, tear apart what uh, the how much actually gets past that filter point um, at each at each individual stage. So the uh, pronounced uh, the pronounced effects of the comb filter are probably heard better with uh, a, a more um, uh, dynamic or a or, or, or certainly a more complicated uh, input signal such as uh, something a little more complicated than a simple uh, sine wave so we're going to change to noise and with noise we get immediately a kind of industrial buzzing sound which can be played with almost endlessly using the comb filter we begin to experience musical aspects to the noise by changing the comb filtering frequency uh, values in the comb filter. <laughs> 